गट्टू चिंकी मेक अ सैंड कैसल गट्टू एंड चिंकी वर वेरी एक्साइटेड सिंस द मॉर्निंग टुडे वाज द लास्ट डे ऑफ स्कूल एंड आफ्टर दैट समर वेकेशंस वर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दे वर ऑलरेडी इन अ मूड टू प्ले एंड हैव फन एंड डिड नॉट वांट टू गो टू स्कूल बट देयर मदर एक्सप्लेन्ड टू देम दैट दे हैड टू गो टू स्कूल एज दे वर गोइंग टू गेट होमवर्क फॉर समर वेकेशन एंड दे शुड नॉट मिस इट Come on, Gatto, hurry up! Our school bus will be here at any moment. Yes, Tinky. I hope this day will end soon, and we will return from school in no time. I can't control my excitement. Yes, that's true. It will be so much fun. From tomorrow, we will play for a whole day, eat tasty snacks made by Mummy, and in the evening, we will go for cycling and eat ice cream. Yes, we will. It's going to be so much fun. Now, let's get ready for the school. Both of them quickly get ready and their mummy called them. Gatu, Chinki, come and have your breakfast. School bus is about to arrive. They rushed to have their breakfast. Mummy had prepared their favorite sandwiches. Wow, mummy, very nice. These sandwiches are really very tasty. Yes, mummy, Gatu is right. These sandwiches are very delicious. Please pack them for our lunch also. We will share them with our friends at school. They will love it. Upon hearing this, Mummy smiled and told them that she had already packed lots of sandwiches for their lunch. After finishing their breakfast, Gatto and Chinky were waiting for their school bus. In a few minutes, the bus arrived. They boarded the bus and went for school. When they reached the school, they saw that all the kids were excited just like them. They sat together and started planning how they are going to spend their vacations. I am going to my uncle's house. I will have lot of fun there. I am going to stay inside, play with my friends and watch TV whole day. I am going to ride bicycle in the evening and will eat the tasty snacks that my mummy will make for us. <laughs> in that case, when the school reopens, you will be called Motu Gattu and not Gattu. <laughs> All the kids started laughing at Bunny's joke. Then the teacher entered the class and all the kids also started studying attentively. After some time, it was time for a lunch break and Gattu Chinki were having their lunch. That is when Chinki saw that an ant was trying to climb onto the teacher's table again and again. After reaching some height, it fell down. But she didn't give up. and started climbing the table once again chinki showed that to gattu that ant had already tried 15 to 20 times and it was very injured but in the end it successfully climbed the table chinki was very happy to see that the small ant managed to climb up by then the class teacher had entered the class she saw that gattu and chinki were staring at her table so she asked them gattu chinki What are you looking at my table so carefully? What is the matter? Gattu explained everything to their teacher. Oh, then tell me. Gattu and Chinki started thinking. They were just looking at an ant. What was there to learn? I will tell you. That tiny little ant taught us that no matter how many problems we had to face or how many times we fail, we should not give up. And we have to keep trying. and in the end we will definitely get the success gattu and chinki were listening very carefully to the teacher soon the school was over and they returned their home after coming home they started their mischief then after some time they took their cycle and left to play so chinki where should we go first let's go to the park all our friends will be there we can play together it will be so much fun let's go So both of them went to the park. There was a big round area in the middle of the park. It was filled with lots of sand. Kids loved to create different types of shapes and castles from the sand. Some kids were writing their names on the sand. Gattu and Chinki also started playing with other kids. That is when Bunny came there and started harassing all the kids. Bunny was very stubborn. and he often bothered other kids without any reason all of you go away 
Only I will play here. Why only you will play here? The park is for everyone. All kids have equal rights to play here. Bunny did not pay attention to Gattu and started playing. Gattu was very angry with him and they started fighting together. Finally, Bunny said to Gattu, "See Gattu, if you want me to let other kids play in this park, then you will have to beat me in the sand castle competition. The one who builds the most beautiful sand castle will win." All the kids were looking at Gattu with a lot of hope. Gattu thought for some time. What happened Gattu? Are you scared? If yes, then go away and let me play. Oh, okay, okay. I'm ready. Gattu, do you really want to do this? I'm really very scared. Don't be scared, Chinky. We should always be brave. How can we give up without fighting? Let's beat this arrogant bunny together and teach him a lesson. After hearing Gattu's brave words, Chinky also helped him in creating a sand castle. They were making their sand castle with great enthusiasm and it was looking really beautiful. On the other hand, Bunny's sand castle wasn't very impressive. When he saw that Gattu and Chinky's sand castle was very beautiful, he decided to play a trick. He purposely tried to make Gattu fall. Gattu's foot slipped and he fell on his sand castle by mistake. His sand castle was destroyed completely. Oh no, Gattu. Please forgive me. I slipped and by mistake pushed you. Gattu knew that Bunny had purposely done that. But he didn't say anything because he did not want to fight with him. The sand castle that Gattu and Chinky made with such hard work was completely ruined. Chinky's eyes filled with tears and she started crying. Don't cry, Chinky. We will still fix it. We still have some time left. No, Gattu. It will never be the same as earlier. It is completely destroyed. Chinky, what are you saying? Don't worry. Do you remember what our teacher told us in the morning? Chinky started listening to Gattu very carefully. No matter how many difficulties we have to face, how many times we fail, we should always keep trying. Finally, all our efforts will help us to achieve victory. Remember how that tiny ant did not give up and even after failing so many times, it still managed to reach the top even though we are facing some problems now. But we have to try again. This gave Jinky a boost of new courage and then both of them started building a new sand castle together. They worked hard and kept building their new sand castle without taking a break. In no time, their new sand castle was ready and it was much more beautiful than Bunny's castle. All the kids started praising their new sand castle and this made both of them very happy. Bunny accepted his defeat without saying a word. He had no other option left. He apologized to all kids and then all of them started playing together once again. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them and subscribe.